Inside. Good girl. Stay. Okay, I'll be back in a bit. There's your snuggle puppy. You're a good girl, okay? Guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome back. Welcome back to the second video of 2022. I'm excited to be back. I'm excited to be creating again and putting these videos out for you guys and talking to you guys in the comments and everything. So it feels good. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. You just landed on the dopest French Bulldog channel on YouTube. That's a fact. I'm just kidding. I don't know. Maybe there's a better channel out there than mine, but whatever. We like to do fun stuff around here, so if you're into that kind of stuff, then subscribe to the channel. But before you do that, make sure you watch this video till the end so you kind of get a feel for what we're doing around here. We're gonna be doing a giveaway, but before we even get into any of that stuff, I wanna share with you guys what I did with Keefley to battle her separation anxiety once she got separated from her litter mates and her mom and how we were to, able to get over all of that stuff so I could still enjoy my life and still step out um, you know, for an evening or to go to the gym when it's not closed and all that stuff. So let's not waste any time and let's get into this video. And this camera is really heavy right now. <laughs> okay, I gotta put it down. <laughs> Let's give us a shot. I don't think we're going anywhere, so I think we're just gonna head back inside. Okay, this lighting is really bad, so we gotta do something about that. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> Drop a comment right now and tell me what you think of him. <laughs> Good morning. So, it's pretty bad weather out today, so. I had different plans for this video, but I think we're just gonna roll with it in here. So I wanted to do this video and talk to you all about how I was able to curb Keefley's separation anxiety from her litter mates, her mom, and also from me whenever I need to step out. I had some things to do today, but uh, as you can see, the weather is pretty bad and we're just gonna take it easy, have a morning coffee, and jump right into it. When I had Kiwi here, with all of her puppies and Keefley, I actually took the snuggle puppy and I put it in with her litter mates. And what this did was it transferred all their smells and scents over to the snuggle puppy so that when eventually that, when they all did get separated, all those smells were embedded into the teddy bear. Now how this helped us is that whenever it came to crate training and I put her in her crate all by herself, I put the snuggle puppy in there and it made her feel like she wasn't alone, that she had you know, one of her siblings with her or that Kiwi was around. Um, so it just gave her more comfort that she wasn't just all by herself in that small crate. Now, in addition to that, I also always put like a blanket over on top of it just because um, it does darken down, you know, her bedroom, but it also gives her that sense of security. And also the other benefit is, is that if I wake up in the middle of the night, I need to go grab a drink of water or I need to go to the washroom or something, 
Uh, she's not gonna wake up to seeing me, you know, waking up and walking out of the room, which could also like create some anxiety for her. So I'd rather her just sleep right through the night. Now, the other cool thing about the Snuggle Puppy is that it comes with this heart and it's got an on button. And when you turn this on, this is supposed to mimic the heartbeat of the mom or the other siblings. So I easily just put it like right inside the puppy. It's like Velcroed. So I put it inside and then I just put the Snuggle Puppy in with Keithley in her crate. So it just makes her really feel like there's actually someone other than her inside of the crate. So it does give her that feeling of comfort that she's not by herself. Now, if you're someone that's dealing with a breeder already, you got a deposit down on your puppy, you know you're gonna be picking it up in the next six weeks, you could totally get one of these snuggle puppies and send it to your breeder and ask them if they could integrate it in with their, with their litters, just so you could get all those scents and smells onto the snuggle puppy before you take your puppy home. And I'm gonna leave a link down in the description where you guys could buy it off Amazon. Now this isn't just for new puppy owners, this could also be applied to those that have an older dog that is dealing with separation anxiety. Maybe they have some anxiety from you leaving home because you've been spending a lot of time at home with them and they just get really nervous when you actually leave for a couple of hours just to run some errands. You could apply all the same things. This is a great alternative before kind of resorting to, you know, whether it be a trainer or um, maybe you're considering getting a second dog for your dog just so that they don't feel alone. All right, everyone. So for the first time ever on this channel, we're gonna do a giveaway. We're gonna give away the Snuggle Puppy. So, and it's gonna be this puppy, just like a new one, not this puppy, the Snuggle Puppy. So, <laughs> so here's the criteria to win one of these Snuggle Puppies. You need to subscribe to this channel, you need to head on over to Instagram, and you need to follow, like, and comment the Snuggle Puppy giveaway post that is going to be up today when you guys see this video. And then I want you guys to tag me in the most funniest craziest picture of your Frenchie that you have and I want you to use the hashtag MPF snuggle puppy and then in two weeks I'm gonna review it on this channel and we're gonna give away one of these snuggle puppies all right and it's gonna be one of these like I said not not one of Keefley or her it's gonna be this snuggle puppy all right so good luck to all of you and we'll see you guys in the next video bye Go get it.